Yeah, we're gonna talk to someone who is the ambassador of Malaysia to the Republic That's of right. Korea That's right. through Skype, which I think is gonna happen really soon. That's right, we have the ambassador to the Republic of Korea himself on Skype with us. So uh, it's been a busy year really uh, for the embassy of the Republic uh, of Malaysia to the Republic of Korea, really. Yes. Uh, earlier this year, they launched MARC, which is the Malaysian Association of the Republic of Korea in February. Mm. And of course, uh, one of the budget carriers has now launched flights to Busan. Yeah. All this probably was overshadowed by the rising tensions in the Korean Peninsula. But we also would like to talk to His Excellency about the celebration of Hari Raya Aida Fitri in mm. the Republic. So hopefully we have him on Skype already, do we? Yes, we do. Uh, we have His Excellency Dr. Ramlan Ibrahim, the Malaysian Ambassador to the Republic of Korea, now with us via Skype. A very good afternoon, Yang Berbahagia Dato. Your Excellency, how are you doing? Very good afternoon to you and thank you for inviting me. Uh, Selamat Hari Raya. Program. Yes, Selamat Hari Raya. And how has the Raya been for yourself over there? Well, um, Raya has been good to us and uh, we try to live up to or try to generate the right Raya mood and uh, festivities here in Seoul mm -hmm. for the Malaysian community. Mm -hmm. What do you miss most? Uh, it goes without saying that you probably miss the food most, Your Excellency. Uh, it's not the same as what uh, we used to have in Malaysia, but we have learned to adapt and adjust ourselves accordingly. Uh, but what I miss most is, of course, the uh, family gathering and the Malaysian delicacies that comes normally during the Hari, Hari Raya festival. Mm -hmm. and. Um, also miss um, the mm -hmm. also miss the um, open houses you know hosted by our friends and families. Right. Right. Um, how is the relationship between Malaysia and uh, the Republic of Korea? Do the people in uh, the Republic of Korea? Uh, okay, come uh, again. They, uh, the background they... music is a bit too loud, I think. Oh. Is there breakout music? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, local breakout music? Okay, right. <laughs> so, um, yes, uh, my question is um, how is the relationship between Malaysia and the Republic of Korea? Uh, do we, um, do, do they know more and more about Malaysia every day? The relationship between Malaysia and Korea, I would, um, I would say, is excellent. We have a very strong foundation. We went back uh, more than 53 years. Mm. Uh, since 191960 mm -hmm. and um, our trade relation has been very very good and significant we had about uh, 17 billion of trade between Malaysia and Korea last year investment have gone up uh, Korea is our fifth largest investment and a growing number of Malaysians coming to Korea we had about 170,000 of them mm -hmm. which is about a 13% increase mm -hmm. and also it, slightly um, a bigger number of Koreans visiting Malaysia. So I would say yes, uh, there are um, increasing number of Koreans now getting exposed to Malaysian and Malaysian um, tourist destination as well as Malaysian cultures. Since we are touching a little bit on the relationship between the Republic of Korea and Malaysia, earlier this year you launched MARC or the Malaysian Association of Republic of Korea. Uh, what is MARC all about and its significance? Well, we decided to to help the Malaysian community organize themselves and, and that is done through the Malaysian Association in the Republic of Korea and through this we get many of the professionals to come in and engage with us mm -hmm. so it is uh, uh, in a way uh, an attempt on our part to reach out to, to the Malaysian community here and which we have done so and um, the reception is very good they very much appreciated the fact that we have taken this initiative to bring them in and to bring them on board mm. So, from the feedback that you have gotten, what, what sort of uh, what do Koreans actually love about Malaysia? <laughs> well, many Koreans love the Malaysian food and our exotic uh, touristic destination. Mm -hmm. They appreciated the multicultural diversity of Malaysia, mm -hmm. and we have a lot more to offer in terms of the festivals that we have. So, uh, those are the major attractions that we can provide to the Koreans. Uh, in the early part of the interview, you talked about missing some of the key highlights of Ideal Fitri in the Republic of Korea. Uh, what sort of substitutes are available for the Malaysian cuisine in the Republic of Korea? Well, we are fortunate because of the fact that many of the ingredients are available in Korea. So we are able to provide them with our satay, with our uh, noodles, with our laksa, with our ketupa, and rendang. So uh, we try to, uh, as I said, um, generate that kind of atmosphere, that kind of mood and provide them with the food that they're used to. 
Mm-hmm. Nice. We also do our uh, open house uh, and have it have many Malaysians to come and join us for the Hari Raya. Right. Uh, well, Dato, um, how many Malaysians are there to date now in in the, the Republic of Korea? We have about the last count was about one thousand, and from which we have about three hundred twenty plus students uh, in, here in, in Seoul. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. great. Uh, so once again, uh, we'd like to wish you and also all the staff of the embassy uh, Selamat Hari Raya Adi Fitri. Do you have any Adi Fitri messages for the Malaysians watching this program? Well, I want to wish all Malaysians uh, Selamat Hari Raya Adi Fitri and to all my family and friends, Maaf Sahib Batin. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for being on the show with us. Thank you. Have a good day. Right, so we hope to get more feedback, you know, in the future. Yeah, we have, we have from, actually from got him. feedback from all over the world, really. <coughs> exactly. Uh, we have actually thanks to Skype. Thanks to Skype. Yes, <laughs> we've got an interview with one of our students in Japan, and yes. he actually <coughs> missed Malaysia so much. He played an Idi Fitri song. On yes, the I know. I watched that. <laughs> it was really, good. <laughs> it was really quite amazing uh, that, that he uh, actually strummed his guitar live over Skype. Yeah. yeah. Well, right now we're going to take a really short break before we come back to talk more. More about maybe uh, more on the equity trading side of it. That's right. Yep. Now markets are quite bearish, I would say mm. today. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average falling 1.1 percent, and uh, the S&P 500 about 1.5 percent, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to be checking in with Aziz Hakim, who's uh, not on his raya break. No. He'll be coming back to talk to us about the markets momentarily. Before now, we'll take a hot happening break and we'll be right yep. back after this. This uh, segment is where we're going to show to you if you want to have, if you're planning to move or you need a storage space, you know, because right now a lot of Malaysians uh, live storage in like, condos okay. and apartments and all that, so they need a lot of storage spaces. This is a place for you to go to because you can check out so many types of uh, spaces that's available. Space. And this storage space is going to be open in 30 branches throughout the country okay. and this is the very first one so this is where you store all your junk <laughs> all valuables <laughs> all so let's valuables. take a look easy secure storage <laughs> 